Right guys, thanks again for coming back to my YouTube. Today's session, I'm outside to start with. So I'm gonna do some sack toss. It's pretty cold. Uh, <laughs> my hands are getting really cold, so I thought I'll just try some gloves today. But yeah, I've brought my keg toss frame here. I've just got two light Cerberus bags, an 18 and a 20 kilo. Uh, I'm just gonna start today's session with some sack toss. Then I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna do some axle press. Uh, I'm gonna start working on my technique for that. It's been probably like, oh, I can't remember last time I did an axle in a contest, probably like six, seven years ago. Then I'm gonna do some log push press out the rack and then finish with a little bit of assistance work. It'd be nice to start getting this, this trained again. It's gonna be probably in one of my competitions next year. I can't say which one yet. I work on these first two. I've, I've gauged like maybe three meters away from the frame today. I'm gonna to put the cones three meters out, so I'll put the sacks three meters out and then we'll just go from there. I this, I was training it for Brian's comp, but the thing that I was doing really that I realised was wrong, I was a lot closer, so I didn't have the running back, and obviously that adds an element to it that could throw you off, so that's what I try and practice that, don't go crazy, just walk in, step back, throw it. Right, so that's my uh, sack toss done. Really good fun. It's probably one of my favourite events. Um, it's just started raining, so I've timed it quite well. I've finished now, we can go in. Um, I was chucking over 18, 20. I did, I think, four sets of that, and they were going over quite well. So I chucked in the 22 kilo bag, which is the black one. Um, I've got adjustable height here, so I, I can adjust it 14, 15, 16 feet. We're at 15 feet, which is usually comp height. Uh, and I found by the time I did my last set, I'd got a good flow with it. Um, next week will probably be even better. Just feels so rusty, it's been a while. Um, and I would probably not always do it first. I'd probably do it mid-session or towards the end of a session when I'm really warm. But I just thought because of the weather here, get it out of the way before it starts raining, which it has. So, but maybe I'll keep it in first, but I'll just, I'll try and do some warming up first next week. But all in all, really happy with it. Uh, good positive first session on it. Uh, I'm gonna go inside now. I'm gonna do some axle. Nothing crazy. Um, I'm just gonna try and figure out a good technique for me to clean and press axle because my mobility in my shoulder is terrible. So I just wanna get familiar with axle again. So I'll probably spend a good bit of time on that. And hopefully by the end of that, I can say that was a really positive session too. I'm only thinking maybe like 110 kilos today. I know it doesn't sound a lot, but for me, it's just about getting my technique right now. Uh, my strength will come over the next few weeks. So it's important I dial in my technique now. And when I get going, I can just worry about how strong I am. And the technique just looks after itself. years ago I, um, I never heated it for a while and uh, I hurt myself a lot because even though I was having like my usual rest the muscles are cold would obviously cool down real quick because it was so cold I kept hurting myself and I literally just got a little oil heater in there and everything was loads better so you know even though you feel hot it's good to make sure you keep your body warm
sounds weird, but that's it. It's quite stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone from not being out of sea because of the blinding light to not being out of sea because it's fucking glasses. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say was um, I've got 100 kilo on that axle. Uh, that is a rotating axle, which means that the weights spin, which which behaves very different to a fixed axle. Most contests are fixed axle, so I, an axle that I deadlift off over there. Um, I'm going to go and try that after I do this. Um, don't plan on really going in that heavy, but if it feels nice, I'll keep adding a little bit of weight. I feel like from the very first warm up rep to this 100 kilos, everything's felt the same, which is really positive. Um, again, I'm just not worrying about the weight, I'm just trying to worry about my technique and make sure it's fluent. Uh, quite happy with how I'm doing it. I am strict pressing it, but I know that like if it comes to contest and the weight's like 150, 160, I can, you know, it's well within my limits to do it that way. So that's how I'm going to train it. Um, a lot of people when they train axle, they train double overhand to clean it, and then when it gets to a heavy weight, they switch to mixed grip. So my opinion is you should always train mixed grip even from the lighter weights. That's something that you know like, I tell a lot of my clients. And hopefully you all took me seriously with my stupid glasses on. I wonder if I can do a rep with one. Where's the fucking axle? Do you want the stick? It doesn't help because I'm steaming up. Oh. So the last rep she did, she did 77 and a half. It was two and a half heavier on one side. So she's doing it again. Who missed load at the bar? You. I'm not giving it. That's your side. <laughs> Nobody like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's Rice. I got wifey on, bling bling sheet. Ice. Freeze. 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 Photo. Photo. Please. Please. No photos. No, no. Jeez. Please. No, no. No. Please. No photos. I keep giving game away. I put game on layaway. I got paid to play today. I get paid to stay away. I get paid on rainy days. I might make it rain today. I got paid on pain today. Thought it'd take the pain away. In my own lane, finger roll. I would never sell my only soul. Heard your whole team was for sale. Heard this on the market for the low. Who the realest we might never know. All this acting, you gon' play a role. Give you the world when they sign you up. Try you out and then they line you up. Ooh. Now you're looking hungry, ribs are touching, need some food. Now you're all on live acting, surprised, but you was fool. Boy, get out the way, it's been a day, now you're old news. Now you got the pen and pad, you're trying to take my moves. Nowadays, nothing really is. Only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's Rice. I got wifey on, bling blingin' she Ice. Freeze. Freeze. Freeze, photo, photo, please, please. no photos, no, no, jeez, no, 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 please, no photos. Nowadays, nothing really is. Only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's Rice. I got wifey on, bling blingin' she Ice. Freeze. 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 Freeze, photo, photo, please. please. So, um, I just did 120, um, I'm going to try 130 next, obviously we've just been playing around with a cell, because I don't want to damage this, I don't want to damage my floor, um, it just sprung off then, as you saw, so I'm going to try and drop it on there, and roll it off, um, if this feels quite good I might try and do a couple, uh, it's, it's gone really well today actually, I've, I've not really had a bad rep yet, it's gone okay, <coughs> feels quite fluent so 
really positive start. You know, I haven't trained Axel for a long time. And, you know, I haven't trained it because it's been such a pain in the ass for me to, when I get here, I get stuck. So it hasn't happened today. Um, so if it doesn't happen today, hopefully it won't happen in the future because I'll keep training it. But we'll see how this setup works if I do multiple reps. Just try to protect the gym, protect the kit. This is the pain in the ass, really, for being a strongman sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I just had, I we discussed, like two or three weeks of chest infection, so my fitness is terrible. I still haven't got over it yet. Four reps, I'm absolutely blowing out my eyes. Well, three and a half reps. do now is put EMOM on my phone every 30 seconds. I don't really want to go much heavier now, I'm just trying to drill technique. It's with that 110 I could chuck around my shoulders all day long, but I'm trying to get used to using my legs again. So I'm just going to do every 30 seconds do a rep, because obviously the picking it up bit's just throwing me off. By the end of it, I'll have done 10 reps in 5 minutes. Not bad, I feel like my body's already responding this week. You know, like it's been hell last few weeks. And I've been worried, thinking, God, I every time I'm in this bad, bad way, I always think, have I still got it? What have I done here? I'm a mess. But no. It's been really good today, actually. I've enjoyed it. Well, right, actually, that's that's set for like my hot and cold therapy. Is Emom? What I'm going to do: 30 seconds for 10, five minutes. So I do 10 reps. I press play. We get going. Right, that's the end of the session. Um, for me personally, it was a really positive one. Uh, the sack toss went really well. Axle press went really well. Um, and then I did some log. Just 110 in the end for singles every 30 seconds just to get my legs back into push pressing again. I'm very well known for my strict press ability. But, you know, like, 
<coughs> when I did the 220 log on the episode 10 in my, you know, in my uh, YouTube videos, the second rep I did was almost weightless. You know, like when I used my legs and I had my shoulder power, um, I could make 220 very, very easy. So, you know, I really want to get that back. You know, I've just got to get that fine tuning in, keep drilling it every week. Um, you know, my groin injuries getting better so I can, you know, put all that hopefully behind me and be good at push pressing on the log again. Um, Kim did really well. She hit her, her target today of 77, 77 and a half bench. She had to do it twice because the first set was obviously misloaded. Um, but uh, she hit her target, so 80 hopefully for her next week. Taz did really well with his deadlift, he hit his target of 260. So these two are both competing uh, in a few weeks and you know they're on track with the program, which I'm right in. <laughs> um, so you know they're, they're both on track, they're both doing really well. Uh, and it's a nice environment for me to get back into my training. Um, yeah, so you know I've, I've really enjoyed today's session. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed the journey as I progress over the next few weeks and the next few videos. Please, obviously, you know, like all of you that subscribe. Thank you. Those of you that haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You know, help grow my channel. Any questions, please ask questions. You know, whether I reply on the comment that you put in or I reply on the next video. I may do both, you know, because if it's something that I feel that um, passes on information, um, I don't mind giving that information out. I don't mind helping people and giving you guys advice. So, you know, please keep the comments coming and ask, ask away. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video.